morning. Yes. I honor all of you that are here today. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Father God, I ask you to decrease me that you may increase in me. Yes, God. Right now. Lord, I ask that you use me to your will, Father God. Yes, I will, Lord. Be with us, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to be before you long. I know that's what everybody say when they get up here. Yes. <laughs> Just pray that I don't. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So we'll see. I just want to just remind some of us about a covenant. Hallelujah. A covenant that God has with us. Thank you, Jesus. Some of us may have forgotten that we're part of the covenant. Amen. And that we do have a commitment to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I just want to give this title today. God is looking for a committed people. Jesus. And I ask the question, is there such? Amen. Amen. Jesus. Well, we're looking at covenant this today and commitment. And I understand when God said that he made covenant with us. And our covenant is everlasting. Thank you, it began back in Genesis. Genesis chapter 17 verse 7. This covenant being an agreement that God gave with Abraham. And he said all your kindred, all your seed, all your children's seed. All the way down to us. The covenant is still good. The covenant is that he never leave us nor forsake us. That he would take us through to the promised land. All of these things is on an agreement. But it takes two to agree. Amen? Amen. It Amen. takes two to agree. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So we ask ourselves, if God made the covenant with us, then what did we do for God? Where do we stand? And what part do we play in the covenant? Amen? And that's where commitment comes in. We have to be committed. Say so. We have to be committed. Thank you, Jesus. And to be committed is to promise or is to promise to do something or to perform a certain thing. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my scripture is coming from Psalms 37 this morning. It's coming from Psalms 37, verse 5. Amen. Amen. If you have it, say amen. Amen. And it reads, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. Amen. 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 Commit yourself to the Lord. Jesus. That's what God is asking for. God is looking for commitment in this day. Yes. Are you committed? Jesus. Are you committed to anything in your life? Are you committed to your job? Are you committed to your marriage? Are you committed to your children? What are you committed to? Mm. God is committed to us. Are we committed to him? Say so, say so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God made covenant with us. Are we doing or keeping our part of the covenant? Jesus. Amen. Amen. God says that he's our God and that we are his people. Are we God's people? Amen. Do we know what it takes to be God's people? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. See, when we took Thank you, Lord. Thank you, the confession of Christ being our Savior. We said that we believed in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We became partnership in that covenant. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So since we became partnership of that covenant, then there's a stand that we have to take. We have to stand in a place that we have to do our part. Yes. 
And it takes obedience to God's word. Amen. Some of these things I'm about to tell you is some of the things that plays our role is some of the things that show us what we're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. where we stand and, and how we get or how we do our part mm -hmm. with the covenant. It takes obedience to God's word. It takes commitment and endurance. It's commitment that keeps us coming here every week. Amen. It's commitment that keeps us in prayer every day. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It's commitment that keeps the church doors open. That's it. It's faithfulness and loyalty to God. That's what it takes Amen. to be committed in this walk. Amen. Amen. God has been faithful to us. And he's been there whenever we need him. That's right. Jesus. He's been there whenever we need him. Yes, yes. I heard Minister Latham's testimony this morning. Mm. She cried out, she prayed out, she walked around the block, and God came through for her. Amen. Amen. And this is what we all do. We all call on God when we need God. Yes. We know that God's going to show up for us. Yes. But do he know you're going to show up for him? You better try and say so. Amen. Jesus. We know that God is our daily bread. Yeah. Jesus. How many of you know that he's your daily bread? Amen. Amen. How many of you know that without him we wouldn't be? That's right. Thank you, Jesus. So let's not take it for granted. Let's not get it twisted. Yes. Who God really is. Hallelujah. Thank you, we can depend on God to be there when we need him. But can he depend on us to be there? Jesus. When God, when God needs us, are we there? Are we too busy? Are we too tired? I mean, we sing the song now that we give ourselves away. Yeah. We give ourselves away. Yeah. We give ourselves away so he can use us. Yeah. But are you there? Jesus. Can he find you? Jesus. Where are you? Yeah. Are you in five o'clock prayer when he show up? Mm. Are you in Tuesday morning prayer when he show up? Jesus. Do you pray at night? When he's waiting for you to say thank you for the day? Jesus. Jesus. That's good. Where are you? God is looking for people that's available to him. Yes, yes, yes. He wants you to be available when he needs you. Yes. Like he's available when you need him. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. I cried and I tried to find a scripture and I Oh God, oh God, oh God, give me a scripture, give me a word, give me something, Lord, give Jesus. me something, Lord. God said, but you missed your fast last week. You, you ate when you wasn't supposed to eat. Jesus. He's funny, ain't he? Yes, yes. But he brought it back to remembrance. Yes. I'm here for you, daughter. Yes. Even if you weren't there for me. Uh -huh. I'm here for you today. Thank you, Lord. Even though you wasn't there for me yesterday. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. God is looking for people that is obedient. Yes. Obedient. Obedient. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I blew the fast last week because I was ate kind of early, but I got a little hungry about 10 o'clock at night. I was eating up some fruits, whatever I could find that wasn't too sweet to put in my mouth. And I'm like, oh, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Steady. You better talk about how so that's, that's how God is. He's a forgiving God. He's a forgiving God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, and Jesus. man, he's merciful. He's merciful. Yes, yes. Amen. Thank you. So God is looking for obedient people. A people that's obedient to his will. A people that will go when he said go. Yes. A people that will do what he said to yes. and not do what we want to do. Yes. God is looking for a committed people Thank who you. will endure the race. We know it's not always easy. We know we don't confess that everything is hokey dory, everything is hokey dory, everything is so lovely, everything is so sweet. Yes. No, we don't confess those things. 
but we take it daily, one day at a time. Amen. And we know whatever it is that we're going through, with God we can do it. Yes. With God, He strengthens us. Yes. With God, we know we're able. Amen. Amen. It's without God we should be afraid. Yeah. It's without God we should be afraid. You better yes. say that again. Come on. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Jesus, I know. Because with God, all things are possible. Thank it's without Jesus. Him yes. that we won't be able to make it. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So he's looking for people that will endure the race. To endure means that you're going to make it, that you're going to stand, you're going to go through, you're going to push past certain things, you're going to knock down adversity, you're going to continue no matter what happens, you're going to step over that block that's in your way, you're going to go around that mountain that's there, you're going to do whatever it takes to get what you need to get. Or to get to the place that you need to get to. Or to get to eternal life which we're all thriving for. Amen. 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 Endurance. He said the race wasn't given to the swift but to those that endure. Come on. Amen. Those that endure the daily tests and trials. Those that endure the, the wiles of the enemy that comes after you every day. Yes. Hallelujah. The race wasn't given to the swift. It was given to those that will stand yes. and be obedient yes. and be committed to this call. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is looking for people he can trust. People who can get the job done. Hallelujah. A person or people that won't give up in the midst of adversity. A people that won't turn their back on the sick and the poor. A people that will continue no matter what. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He's looking for a people whose heart is right. Yes. His, the heart got to be right. Because God searches the heart. Yes. He sees the heart. No, Hallelujah. Thank you, He's looking for people that is not full of evil. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. I think they're getting away with something. Come on. That's being malicious. Yes. That's being... Um, that's just doing things on their own accord. Yes. Yes. They have different motives. Yes. Like the scheme and con, and he's not looking for all of that. That's right. Because in God, it, that is not the way to go. That's right. Jesus. That is not the way to go. He sees every motive that you have behind yes, everything that you do. Yes. And if you're not doing it with your heart, don't bother to do it. That's right. Don't bother to do it. Yes, yes. You don't. You don't give him nothing because you come here on Sundays. It, it don't mean nothing come to on. him. Yes. Come it don't mean a thing. That's right. What, Mean something to him is where's your heart when you come? Yes, yes. Where's your heart when you come? Yes, Are you coming just for the prophet to give you a word? Jesus. Are you coming to really worship him? Yes. What are you coming for? Yes. Hallelujah. Where's your heart when you come into these doors? Is your heart in God yes. to truly worship him in truth and in spirit? Yes. 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 That's the kind of people God is looking for. People with the right heart. Amen. God is looking for people who cares for the things that He cares about. Yes. The sick, the poor, the homeless. God care about all of those things. He don't care because you got a house and you live in a mansion or you got Mercedes. He don't care about that stuff. That's right. That's right. Only we care about that stuff. He don't care about nothing. But He don't care about the things of the world. He cares about his people yes. and how to get them to the kingdom and how to give them eternal life and how to bring them in a place with him. That's what he cares about. Yes. He cares about his word reaching them, his word penetrating their heart, his word being written on the tablets of their heart. That's what he cares about. Amen. He cares about you and you Amen. and you. Going to the four corners of the world, yeah. preaching the gospel, Amen. sharing his word, speaking of his goodness. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's looking for people who is sincere, Amen. who love him as much as he loves you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Is there such a people? Jesus. Are you such a people? Thank you, Jesus. I read in Luke 12 48, it says, Too much is given, much is required. Too much is given, much is required. 
So if God is giving, 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 what are you doing? Jesus. What are you doing? There's certain things that's required of us. There's certain things that is required of us. Part of our commitment is requirements. Requirements. God is looking for a people who are backbite. Come on. Who's not lying, who's not cheating. Come on. He's looking for a people that is truthful. Yes. He's looking for a people that loves even when it hurts. Yes. Even when it hurts to love. Jesus. Yeah, all the time it's not pleasant. Ooh, Jesus. No, it's not always pleasant. Yes. Say so. Yes. I love you dearly. I love my children dearly, my grandchildren dearly. Jesus. But when you have to chastise them, it hurts. Yes, yes. When God has to chastise us, it hurts him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 But he has to chastise us to show us that he loves us. Yes. That he won't allow us to fall into the pit. That he won't allow us to stay where we are. But he brings us back up. He said you might stumble, but he picks you right back up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. God is looking for people that are peacemakers. Peacemakers, not always starting confusion, not always in the midst of something, but are peacemakers that can bring people together, that can say, brother, sister, let's solve this and get it right. Let's bring, let's bring love in this. Let's forgive one another. Yes, God. He's looking for peacemakers. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Problem solvers. Yes. That's not agitators. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He's looking for people that will take this gospel to the world. And people who's on fire for him. Yes. Who's on fire for God? Come on. Who's on fire for God? Thank you, Jesus. We just come to church week after week, week after week, and we eat and eat and eat. Who's sharing the word? Who's telling people of the goodness of the Lord? Say so. Who's working for the kingdom? Say. Yes, yeah. Jesus. He's looking for that kind of people. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And people who won't back down in adversity. A people that will stand for the sake of the gospel. It says in 1 Timothy 1 and 11, Paul was talking about the false teachers. And he said that he's glad that he was given the gospel that he was committed to the gospel that God trusted him and committed him with the gospel that he could teach. Amen. He was happy that he was able to teach the truth and not a lie. He was committed to teaching God's word. Amen. 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 Because God trusted him to do so. Yes, yes. Can God trust us to teach Jesus. his word? Can God trust us? To tell the truth and not a lie? Thank you, Lord. Can God trust us to be peacemakers? Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is looking for committed people. Are we such a people? Are we such a people that we will commit our works unto the Lord? For it says in Proverbs 16, 3, to commit thy works unto the Lord. Amen. And he will, or all things shall come to pass. Are we such a people that all we do, we do unto the glory of the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. In a spirit of excellence? Thank you, Lord. And in, in a spirit of not looking for nothing in return? Yes. With the right motive, with the right heart? Are we such a people that we give God all the glory when things turn out right? We give God all the praise when he step in? We lift his name and exalt yes. him on high? Yes. Are we yes. such a people? Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Is there such a people? 